Now, the Subway Final Word. Good evening, I'm Albie Oxenrider. Happy Super Bowl Sunday. Welcome to the Subway Final Word, the show that invites you into the conversation. You can get your opinion on TV right here on Channel 11 every Sunday night. Let's get started by introducing you to tonight's three panelists. Snow, sleet, hail, nothing can hold them back. The afternoon host at 105.9 The X once made eye contact with Barbara Streisand. It's Mr. Mark Madden. Woo! That's right. And another one of our bearded panelists, uh, author, veteran sportscaster, John Staggerwall. I made contact with one of her eyes. I wouldn't go for both of them. <laughs> All right. And on the right from Trip Total Media, no beard. But he's got a hat, a, you like know, hat. A very nice. What's that called, a derby? It's just so nobody can make eye contact with me. I pull it <laughs> down right. low enough. That's Chris Adamski. <laughs> Thanks for being with us. Some of the topics we'll be talking about tonight, your favorite part of Super Bowl week, the idea of having a Super Bowl in Pittsburgh. That's a great idea. And uh, where the Penguins are headed after a uh, rough uh, stretch recently, that's all coming up. But first, the big topic, the Super Bowl. Brady and Belichick now tied with Bradshaw and Knoll as the only coach quarterback tandem to win four Super Bowls. So, how do Brady and Belichick compare to Terry and Charles Henry in terms of the best ever? Mark, what do you think? <laughs> Yinzer Nation. Let's say you're unemployed, which is a pretty good bet. Let's say you're hungover, another pretty good bet. And you get up at noon tomorrow and it's still dark out, don't worry. That's just New England's new millennium dynasty blotting out your sky. Belichick and Brady lost to, one four lost to, Nolan Bradshaw 4 0 undefeated, but it's tougher to keep a winning team together in the salary cap era. I would never say Belichick and Brady are better than Nolan Bradshaw but certainly very, very comparable. And for Brady and Belichick to win a fourth Super Bowl a decade and a half after they won their first one, that is quite remarkable. John Staggerwall. Well, I think it's interesting. I don't, uh, by the way, I don't want to go into it here. We don't have time, but I don't buy that theory about it being tougher now because of free agency. But uh, I, I, as far as uh, Noel and uh, Belichick com uh, comparing those two, Noel exploited the existing defensive rules in the NFL to make uh, put together a defense that caused the league to change the rules and Belichick actually has exploited the non-defense that now exists in the NFL better than anybody. He has he has mastered the dink and dunk. He has the perfect quarterback to do it. They won the game tonight. I think he threw through four or five passes over 10 yards in the air and they, they he threw 50 passes. Uh, so Belichick has mastered the the game and they, they really can't change the rules to fix that. They're not going to go back to playing more defense because points sells uh, draws in viewers. But I think it, that's where they compare. Noel actually exploited the defense and made him change the rules and Belichick has picked up on that and exploited the rules that were changed because of Chuck Noll. Chris, what do you think? As much as anybody in Pittsburgh probably hates to say it and everybody hates to hear it in Pittsburgh, it's really hard to make an intellectually honest to yourself uh, argument at this point now that Brady and Belichick haven't surpassed Bradshaw and Noll at this point. Not only do you have, they both have four Super Bowls, six conference titles to four conference titles. Perhaps I think the most impressive thing that Brady and Belichick have done together now is they made the playoffs 11 years in a row. The, the Patriots missed the playoffs even though they went 11-5 in 2008, but remember Tom Brady got hurt in the opening uh, quarter of that season, the opening quarter of the opening game that season. So to make the playoffs 11 years in a row, you look at their records these years, the 12-4 three years in a row, 11-5, there's not, not too much there. Every single year they're good and the fact they've done it over a 14-year span with a completely, completely different supporting, set or supporting cast around them during that that time just speaks to their greatness more so than it does maybe that individual team. Those Steelers teams were better than the Patriots teams. We're talking just coach and quarterback. That's what we have to deal with. All right, a reminder to keep the comments coming. You can find us on Twitter at WPXI Final Word or on Facebook as well at The Final Word. From Twitter, the legend Howie Bell says, Patriots did it during the salary cap era with more player changes every year and in my opinion are the more dominating franchise. Mark, talk more about that. You get into a little bit. Salary cap era certainly sways the discussion, does it not? It sways the discussion, but I don't want to discredit the Steelers because they did it right the first time. If they would have got bad players and had to make a lot of changes back when cap era or no, it would have been a tough road to hoe in terms of winning four Super Bowls, but they assembled a great team, didn't make mistakes, didn't draft bad players, had some of the greatest drafts in NFL history, and just kept adding on part after part 
after great player after Hall of Famer. So it's two very different kinds of dynasties. And all kidding aside, I'd say the two are just about dead even. Uh, more from Twitter. Patrick says, Bradshaw and Noel never lost the Super Bowl. End of discussion. Staggy, does that end of the discussion? No, I don't think it ends the discussion, but I think there's a couple of things here. The Patriots have played in a division with the Bills, Patriots, and Dolphins for a long time. That's uh, three bad teams mostly, and they get six games a year against them, so that gets them into the playoffs, gets them home field advantage. Uh, so I think that's uh, a factor. So I, And I think that you can also, in this era of free agency, when your players get old, you can go get players and sign them as free agents. You can get people like Randy Moss. You couldn't do that when Noel was coach. Buzz? It's just, uh, like I said, the longevity of it is what's really impressive now. I don't care what kind of era it is, what kind of free agency rules there are, whatever it is. To go from the 2001 to 2014 seasons and to win Super Bowls there, again, with completely different staffs around them in terms of coaches, in terms of players, is that's what really makes this, this era impressive by the Patriots. All right, Tom Brady also tied Joe Montana as the only QB to win three Super Bowl MVPs. More Super Bowl talk coming up, including the idea of Pittsburgh hosting a Super Bowl. Jabbar says, no, I just wouldn't want to deal with the traffic. The Parkway East in a regular day is bad enough. Uh, and we're going to have to hear the comments from the panel on that subject coming up when we come back.